And now let's see how one can earn more silver lions without really trying. Here's a pretty common situation. You've spent a lot of time to get a new tank, played dozens of battles, finally bought it, but you don't have enough silver to put it into the slot and train the experts. Well, here come the wagers to help you farm a little more silver lions. A lot of players usually play only the golden wages. Surely, it feels nice to get some gold just by playing the game. But the silver wagers tend to pile up in the inventory even though they can bring you a lot of lions. While doing the wagers, you need to remember only two simple rules. First, you can play any tech you like, but you have to have at least one rank 3 or 4 machine in the slot. And second, always make the highest bet possible. That way, you'll benefit even if you compete only one stage of the wager. And anyway, 10,000 lions isn't that big of a deal. There are several types of wagers. The first one is the Battle Victory Wager. This one is simple. 10 stages for victories and you get more and more with each stage completed. Use whatever tech you like, as long as you're effective on that. As for the mode, we preferred the Air RBs and Tank Arcade. Also, you get three chances to lose, so it shouldn't be very hard to complete this one. Then there are two destruction wages for five and ten enemies. The first one has only three stages and it's really not that hard to destroy five vehicles in any mode. Also, in RB and SB there's a modifier for this one. One frag equals two. Now, the destroy ten units wager is a bit harder. We don't recommend to do it in air RBs. Test your luck in the arcades and the tank RB. It's not that easy to kill 10 enemies, but you get as much as 10 mistakes before it's over and the reward gets up to 500,000 lions. The Alpha Omega wager is a lot trickier. You have to get the first and the last kill of the same battle. 10 stages, 10 mistakes possible. The most reasonable thing would be to do it in the air AB or RB. There, you can dive from the start of the battle and destroy some artillery. Then comes the tricky part. <laughs> Stay alive till the very end. And when the battle is almost over, destroy some more ground targets. Easy, right? Another hard wager is the Hero of the Sky. If you're a good pilot and you're sure you can kill more enemies than anybody else, this one's for you. The reward is very good, but you only get six chances to lose, so think twice as to whether you can actually pull it off. There are also the same wages for the tankers and for future sailors. They are called the Thunderer. For those of you who specifically like to shoot down the planes in combined battles, there's a wager called the Wing Breaker. Grounding five or more planes is enough to get to the next stage of this wager. If anything, you have six chances to lose. The last two wagers are for the team players. The first is called the Wingman. If you're constantly in a situation where you hit the enemy but someone steals your frag, this is your chance to benefit from that. And finally, the best squad wager. Get your friends, be the best in the battle, get squad achievements, and if you're that good, you'll get this wager done in no time. That's it with the silver wagers. They'll help you get some lions not only for your actions in the battle, but also for completing these side missions. So don't stockpile them in your inventory. Activate them, master them, and get some extra lions in the process.